To get started, I will be using three pounds of chicken. This is a combination of chicken breast and chicken legs. I'm also going to be using two five ounce boxes of vermicelli noodles. This is what I call fideo, and this is basically the brand that I grew up with, quality, quantity. I'm also going to be using one potato chopped into large chunks, one carrot chopped into large chunks, one zucchini, and half of an onion. I'm also going to just toss in a scallion, a whole scallion for flavor. I'm also going to be using a 9.3 ounce container of crushed tomatoes. This has garlic in the mix, one teaspoon of granulated garlic, one teaspoon of granulated onion powder, I'm also going to use half a teaspoon of ground cumin. You can adjust the ratio of these dry spices to your preference. I'm also going to be using six cups of chicken broth. Here I only have four. I have two extra on the side. I'm also going to be using cracked black pepper. Okay, so first I am going to season my chicken. Here I have an old onion powder bottle that I basically put my chicken rub in. And my chicken rub consists of Lowry seasoning salt, lemon pepper, onion, and garlic powder. That is it. You can season your chicken with salt and pepper, or I know adobo seasoning is a good one. Use the seasoning of your choice, but season liberally. I'm going to season these with this chicken rub, and then I'm going to start browning them. Okay, so now that my chicken is seasoned well, I am going to brown it. Here I have a pot that I've been preheating. I placed oil in it, and now I'm going to start browning my drumsticks. I want to start with the drumsticks first because those do take the longest to cook. I will be browning these on each side for around five to seven minutes. And the chicken breast pieces, I will brown them around five minutes on each side. Definitely you want to get a good head start on browning and cooking your chicken because you want to make sure at the end it's cooked through. So again, cook time may vary. If you are working with cold seasoned chicken, it will definitely cook differently. I allowed my chicken to set on the counter for around 10 to 15 minutes after seasoning it to take the chill off of it. Okay, so it has been around five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and give my chicken a turn. The chicken breast, again, will not take as long as the drumstick, so I will be pulling those out sooner. And I do want to mention that I'm working with a medium high heat because I do want to get a good browning on the exterior of this chicken. Okay, so my chicken breast were browning for 10 minutes. I pulled them out of the pan. So now I am going to continue cooking my drumsticks for an additional five to seven minutes. I'm probably going to cover them with a lid just to help continue cook them. Okay, so I'm going to remove this last drumstick out of my pot. Now I am going to continue by sauteing my potatoes and carrots. Here I'm going to set my chicken off to the side for right now. Now the reason why I want to saute my potato and carrots right now is to give them a head start in cooking because those will take the longest to get soft and tender once I add everything and continue cooking the fideo dish. So I am going to saute these for around five minutes. And if you'll notice any residual seasoning that was left at the bottom of this pot, 
the potatoes and carrots are going to pick up and that's good because it won't burn when I start to brown my fideo. By the way, I'm adding just a pinch of salt and I'm going to continue sauteing these for five minutes and then I'm going to pull them out of the pot. So now I am ready to start toasting my fideo or my pasta. So there's still oil at the bottom, but if you find yourself without any oil, add a little bit. That'll help the toasting process. So this process is going to take a good 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how high you have your heat. I'm going to work with a low heat because I don't want to burn this before I have a chance to toast and brown all of the fideo evenly. So work with a low heat. I'm just going to continue tossing and moving the fideo in the pan. Again, this is not a quick process and I am going to get a deep, dark, golden brown color. It, some of the fideo might burn or get darker than others, that is fine. You want to make sure you toast your fideo well because this will ensure that it doesn't turn soggy and bloated when you add the liquid. This keeps a firmer texture to your fideo and it lasts longer even as it sits after you're ready to serve it. So I wanted to show you, you might be tempted to think this is toasted enough, but please keep going, keep going. You want it a little bit darker. I'm going to go for a couple of more minutes and then I'm going to add other ingredients. And while I'm sauteing the other ingredients, the fideo will continue to cook. So right about here is a good place to start adding the other ingredients. It is darker, it's not quite burnt, but it definitely is toasted. So here I'm going to add two cloves of minced garlic. And if you haven't noticed, I really like garlic. You don't have to add all the garlic in this dish that I am, but I really love the garlic flavor. So I'm also adding my onion and zucchini and just going to saute this for a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, the fideo will continue to toast. Okay, so I have sauteed my zucchini and onion for several minutes. Again, the fideo is continuing to get brown, which is fine, that's what you want. But now I'm going to start adding my other ingredients. Please be sure to check the description below this video for all the ingredients and measurements used in this recipe. I'll also include links to other recipe videos that you might like. For those of you interested, I will be placing a link in the description below for the pot that I used today. This is a red 6.9 quart pot with a lid. The brand I believe is I am USA brand. Again, I will try to find a link and place it in the description for those of you interested. Okay, so now I'm just adding the rest of my ingredients. After the crushed tomato, I'm also going to put right back into the pot the potatoes and carrots that we sauteed earlier. And then I am going to place the chicken into the liquid. And I am going to be cooking this for around 18 to 20 minutes. By the way, you do not want to start timing the cook time until you bring the liquid up to a boil or a simmer, you cover with a lid, you lower the heat, and then you start timing the 18 to 20 minutes. Okay, so my fideo is up to a rolling boil, and now I am going to cover it with a lid, lower the heat, and simmer for 18 to 20 minutes. 
So while that's cooking, I wanted to share a little backstory about this dish. Fideo con pollo was one of my father's favorite comfort dishes. We unfortunately lost him three years ago, so there isn't a day that goes by that we don't think of him. But when I make some of his favorite food and we have it for dinner, we enjoy thinking and talking about happy memories we had with my father. And he definitely would have enjoyed the fideo that I'm making today. So that's just something I like to share with you about this dish. Okay, so my fideo is done and we are all ready to eat. So definitely by looking at it, this is a soupier version of fideo. If you wanted the drier version, probably use four cups of chicken broth, but I like the soupiness. So it's dinner time and I can't wait to have our dinner conversation remembering my dad while we enjoy this delicious video con pollo. I certainly hope you give this a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.